Hello, this is Carl Dannenberger at the Ohio Turfgrass Foundation Research and Educational Facility here on the campus of Ohio State University. It is uh, Tuesday, September 28th, and we've seen a weather change from last our last week's uh, record high temperatures to a rather cool, wet uh, uh, environment now where temperatures are in the 60s, and as you, maybe you can see, there's water coming up around my shoes. But here I'm uh, kneeling on a bent grass uh, turf area, and if you can notice, we're seeing the uh, expression of these light yellow uh, little patches about the size of a fingertip of infected uh, bent grass plants, and this disease is known as uh, yellow tuft, and uh, it is a uh, 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 more of a nuisance type disease because the pathogen is a water mold in the class of uh, oomycetes, and it, but more importantly, it's an obligate parasite. In other words, uh, for it to complete its life cycle or survive, it needs a living host. So, so it infects these plants, and to complete its life cycle, it doesn't ne not necessarily kill the plant, but it does induce some interesting things. And one is is the yellow color, uh, usually associated with this. Uh, a fungus uh, uh, sporulating or producing uh, structures called sporangia. And if you looked at the leaf blade closely, you'd probably see those. And the other characteristic of this disease is that the, the plants become, um, besides yellow, they thicken. Um, and the leaf blades, as shown here, a more non-infected plant. So it's almost like these plants become gigantic. And uh, given that it's an obligate parasite, really there's no real preventative control because it's always here or in, or in the plant or around the plant. And so cure that's good news uh, uh, in the sense that it doesn't kill the plant. But uh, curative treatments need to be done and they're not real effective. Uh, some of the best uh, treatments in the past have been reported with uh, Subdue Max and Chlorothalonil, or, and more recently uh, with Subdue Max and Medallion, but uh, unfortunately you don't get complete control. And for the most part, uh, you just kind of let this disease go.